Maps, maps, come and learn about maps. Greetings, welcome to another video where we explore another geographical topic. You are probably here because Mr. Henry or your teacher gave you some homework to find out about maps. Well, grab your notebook and let me drop some knowledge on you. Look at the tools on the screen and tell me who you think might use them. If you said doctor, then mechanic, then carpenter, then plumber, then farmer, then give yourself a round of applause. Just like those people, a geographer, someone who studies geography, uses many tools. And a geographer's most important and recognizable tool is the map. A map is defined as a graphical representation of all or a part of the Earth's surface, which is drawn to scale. This does not mean that there is only one type of map, nope, never that. In fact, there are many types in this video we will look at five types. Make sure you write down these five types and what each is used for. Firstly, let's look at the physical map, or as some like to call it, the relief map. This type of map beautifully shows the Earth's physical features, for example the mountains, valleys and bodies of water that shape our landscapes. They provide a 3D perspective in a two-dimensional way, with different colors and shades explaining the different heights or elevations. Unlike a physical map, a weather map serves a very different purpose. It gives a quick visual of our atmosphere, temperature, wind speed, humidity and precipitation, it's a meteorologist's best friend, instrumental in forecasting weather and tracking storms. Vegetation maps offer a glimpse into Earth's green cover. They depict the distribution of different types of plants across the globe, from dense forests to sparse grasslands. They're vital tools for ecologists, helping them understand biodiversity and plan conservation efforts. Political maps ignore nature's markers and instead, focus on man-made boundaries. They mark the boundaries of countries, states and cities, highlighting the invisible lines that divide us. Very important in understanding geopolitics and international relations. Lastly, road maps, the paper problem solver in our glove compartments. They guide us from point A to point B, detailing highways, main roads and sometimes even smaller streets. They're essential for travelers, truck drivers, and anyone else navigating unfamiliar territory. All maps have a basic purpose. They show where things are and present information about the world in a simple visual way. All good maps share five essential features. They all have a border, providing a neat frame for the information within. Borders show the limits of the area being studied. They all have a scale. The scale helps users measure distances on the map. The title of the map is its name or describes what the map is showing. Direction, usually indicated by a compass rose or a simple north arrow, is another must-have feature, guiding the viewer's understanding of the map's orientation. It lets you know the compass direction of one place from another on the map. And finally, every map has a legend. The legend is also called a key because it unlocks the meaning of every symbol, word and colors used on the map. In summary, maps fuel our desire to understand and navigate our world. 
All maps have a basic purpose they show where things are and present information about the world in a simple, visual way. Like a physical map detailing the Earth's topography, a weather map predicting tomorrow's rainfall, a vegetation map showcasing global flora, a political map outlining national boundaries, or a road map guiding your next road trip, each type of map serves a unique purpose. And no matter their differences, they all share the same five essential features that make them a super important tool of geography. So the next time you glance at a map, take a moment to appreciate the intricate stories it tells. The colors letting you know instantly if a spot on the map is water or land, boundaries letting you know your country or someone else's, the shape of your country and its resources, or where you are if you are lost. Maps are more than just paper and ink. They are visual snapshots of a particular place and time.